Third shot on the par five. Kinnock from the... Obviously, I would say he's probably had to chip out from somewhere because I think most of the guys can... Oh, he's a long way back as well. Into this par five. Pins just tucked at the front. Well, it's not actually at the front left. Rafa looking to carry this pretty much all the way. That's no more than a gap wedge. An absolute parlour. A nice way to start the day and hopefully can knock that in. That's looking good. What a part. What a way to start your round. Wow, the swing hasn't changed one bit. What a beauty. Started the round off with a birdie and another opportunity coming up. Let's see if Sagstrom can get a bit closer. She's trying and she's got it. This is Headwalk on the right-hand side of one. really well played. This is Limblad, world number one amateur, second shot into the short par four ninth. Just 115 yards to go. Yeah, we dropped five shots in the last five holes yesterday, but she's turned it around today. Dale Whitnell, last shot he hit that we saw last night, he hold on number nine. Is he going to start? Oh, well, hello. This is a doddle of a game, isn't it? Dale Whitnell. Had to use the putter this time, well, though. He must be devastated he didn't hold his second. Very difficult shot. No green to work with. Green way above her. Oh, this is a beauty. That was a stellar of a shot. I mean, the light didn't look particularly pretty. Didn't have much green to work with. I've always thought it must be quite difficult to be a twin brother or a twin sister. It must be so competitive. This is Whitnell. Wind seems to be swirling out here. You need to get the number right. Just like that. So at five. Oh, aggressive through the ball. Nice high ball flight. It's what you need. Yeah, it comes down softly. Cracking shot there. Not an easy pin position, that one, right up the back. Look forward to it makes the the year easier. I feel like Yannick Paul to try and get to ten under par, the outright lead. And there you go. That's the mark right now. Three birdies, no drop shots from the German who is in a share of the lead overnight. No, 109 yards, perfect position. What a cracker of a drive this is. And number five, pin all the way at the back. Got to pitch it all the way back there. Oh, yes, beauty. And that's the advantage that they, the guys have. And get that little bit of spin. Paul with a nice layup, but a big false front here, 148. It's only about four or five yards over the false front. So you have to carry it past the hole to be safe. This is going to be close. Hold on. Oh, judge the spin absolutely perfectly. Good plan, that laying up, wasn't it, Jay? One of the longer hitters out on tour. A third shot into the sixth. Quirky little hole. Pins on the right-hand side today. Oh, what a result! The easiest par you could imagine. 
and a hug from Mum at the end of it as well. And he, and Townsend too, of course, not forgetting to three amateurs the right side of the mark. Second shot into six for Whitnell. Is he going to eye up another birdie? I think so, maybe. He is playing some unbelievable golf so far. Should come back the other way at the hole. So not an easy one. How about that? What a lovely way to finish the front nine and a super front nine as well for Madeleine Sackstrom. Expect this to be spinning by the pin. An absolute beauty. Oh, she makes it again. Wind doesn't look like he's doing anything with that flag. Well, 338 yards. He's hit that longest drive of the day, and it has led to another very, very good birdie chance. After starting off with three straight bogeys, now Dale Whitnell, second shot at 10. The leader by one, and that is why, because he just keeps absolutely flagging his second shots. And another. Wow. I mean, surely this is guaranteed to go inside, what, 10, 11 feet? Rolls it in for birdie. Am I predicting the future? Yep. <laughs> it's become a not as Trish. Have you had days like this? Well, I'm not going to bet against him, are you? The only awkward thing is just kind of putting through the shadow. But not for Whitnell. He's on a different level right now. Well, surely if this goes in, you'd be on a 59 watch. Oh. He's feeling it. If you do land it short, it's going to trickle down. Perfect. He's managed to spin very well so far today. Oh, what a shot. I thought that was going in. On oh, 14, birdie putt right to left down the hill. Two under par, can she get two? Yeah. Yes, she can. What a beauty. Uh, Alice likes this tournament. Landing it on a downhill slope. Breaks right to left. At least it tried to. It's a good effort. Should be a tap in birdie. Second shot for Bjork. It's a Philly little shot the closer that you get, but that was a wonderful execution. It's a wonderful putt. It's a round that started pretty shabbily, but has ended quite splendidly. Eagle opportunity for Ramsey, up and over a couple of humps and bumps. Currently six under, goes to eight. What a part. From 15, 20 minutes ago, this shot was a very difficult one. Right now it's playable. He can land it around the hole and get it to stop pretty quickly. Can he do it? <laughs> well, he's definitely tried. Almost, almost again. Simply sensational. Dale Whitnell with one of the rounds of the season so far. A 61 and a six-shot lead at the Volvo Car Scandinavia Mixed.
He led the way after two rounds in Mallorca. Yannick Paul won that week, and it's Yannick Paul who's his closest pursuer right now at the halfway stage. Still a couple of holes for Richie Ramsey to play, but what a performance from Dale Whitnell. Dale, 11 birdies, no bogeys this week. Is that as good as it gets? Yeah, it was pretty good today. Um, obviously, yesterday was nice. You know, I had a bit of momentum after holding my last shot yesterday. Um, just took it into today and, you know, played nicely, hit the right shots at the right time, took my medicine when I needed to if I wasn't in the right positions and hold a few putts, which helps. Your approach play was amazing. Is, is the wedge game the strength to your game, you would say? Uh, yeah, it is a strength, but there's a great facility that we've got here. So I've been out there most of the time. Um, practicing on sort of you know there's a lot of wedges between sort of 90 and 130 so I've been out there most of the time sort of between between playing and you know doing a lot of practice up there. And were you aware of how low you were going because we were talking 59 at one point did you focus on a number out there? No I tried to stay in the present it's obviously harder to do that than than, than what it actually is but um, yeah I just tried to take one shot at a time and um, it worked well today so. Now your caddy worked for Matt Baldwin in South Africa. It was a one-off week and they won. This week he's caddying for you. It's a one-off week. Do you see where I'm going with that? No comment. <laughs> Taking it as it comes. Now what is your mindset for the weekend? Uh, just to play exactly. Try and play, emulate what I've done the first two days. Obviously it'll be pretty impressive to do that. But, uh, you know, just keep the same mindset and, uh, you know, the golf course is gettable if you if you give it a bit of discipline um, and if you try and bite off a bit more than you can chew then you'll get punished so I've just got to keep that in mind going into the weekend. Well good luck. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here.